Hello everyone, Leah here. In today's video, I wanna share seven reasons why I think color swatching can help you as an artist and why I do them. First up is not all colors are labeled properly on the packaging. As you can see with this one right here, the labeling has this orangey pink, but as you can see, it's more of a muted darker color. So clearly that is not the same color. Yeah, with this brand, the labeling, though it is a printed label, still has a close to color accuracy. Now, some brands actually do paint on their labels with the paint that's going to be in the tube. So that's really nice, but not all brands are like that. So you want to be able to see the true colors of the paints that you're using. Reason number two is you want to be able to select the colors for your paintings. So if you're going to be selecting a complementary color palette, a split complementary color palette, being able to have swatch cards of individual colors will help you pre-select and decide what colors go well with each other so you can use them during your paintings. Reason number three is a three-parter. You want to have a designated place for your colors that you can keep them, store them, and keep track of all your colors. By doing this and having, say, for example, a designated sketchbook where you can swatch them when you first open them, or a designated box where you keep all your swatch cards, it helps you with tracking the colors that you purchase being able to see how those colors perform when you're using them for the first time, but it also allows you to know what colors you own when you're purchasing online or in store. So if you create a color swatching sheet, you can bring it with you to the store or have it with you by your computer while you're shopping online, and it'll prevent you from sh purchasing the same item twice before you need to you know, replenish that already used up art supply. I've done that. <laughs> um, and the last reason for this one for tracking also helps you, I find, curb the urge to purchase when you don't need to. So having these things and doing these swatch cards will help you see that you have all the colors that you need and maybe you don't need to purchase more art supplies. Number four and five have to do with keeping a swatch book, a color mixing diary basically. Somewhere that you can store the colors that you're using for a painting and be able to go back and see what colors you used for multiple reasons. First one is being able to remix the same color while you're painting. Being able to see the levels, of the mixing that you did, what you used, how much of it you mixed in there, so you can recreate that color again and again, especially if it's a large painting, you're coming back to it multiple times, or if it's just a color you absolutely love. Another reason is so that you can document how you felt while creating these paintings. How did these colors make you feel? What kind of emotions did you feel when you were finished this painting? Documenting how you feel about it will also let you know whether or not these are colors you wanna go back and use again, or if they're colors that you really don't wanna to touch again. Reason number six that swatching is so important is being able to track what kind of pigments that your brands and your colors are made with. Because not all of them are created equal. Some of them use different colors. Some of them use multiple pigments and to create a color where another brand uses different ones. And maybe you want to have something that is a bright, vibrant color, but if you mix it with the wrong green, you get a muddier color, that kind of thing. And reason number seven, something that I think is really important for artists of all levels to do, and that is brand comparison. You don't wanna just compare how maybe one brand makes their magenta with a different pigment, or perhaps that magenta is more transparent than another's, but also you wanna compare how those brands perform. Not all brands are created equal because of the materials that they use to create their paints, their markers, their pencil crayons, their anything that you're using. So having 
a dedicated area where you're swatching, you're testing, you're seeing how your materials mix and work with one another is really important. I understand that not all artists are mixed media artists like myself, but if you are using art as a tool towards healing, using multiple materials with one another can help you express yourself, learn what kind of artist that you are, and things like that. So having a track of this will really be helpful for you in the long run. This can also be really helpful if you're the kind of artist that works on location or on the go. So if you're on your way to work and you're taking transit, you want to use materials that have a faster dry time versus say others. So if you use a lot of um, markers or things like that, you want to know what dries quickly, what um, stays wet longer, you know, these kinds of things are useful information. And there we go. The seven reasons why I think color swatching is really helpful for us as artists and why I do it frequently throughout my creative journey. I personally have swatch cards that are individually painted for all the paints that I own. I swatch out my stuff in a dedicated sketchbook so I can see my color palettes together and I have a dedicated color mixing swatch book as well that has grown and progressed as I grow and progress as an artist. Having these things is really good for me as a creator and it's something that I recommend you guys try for yourselves. If you have any questions let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time stay magical!